while we're having a day of ranting, let's carry on ranting. Gonna have a little rant about these things here. And I want to have a rant to a certain demographic of people. Look, I'm discriminating. Not bigoted in any way, I don't think. Who knows these days what you are. Um, new guys doing the job. I try, I try not to do door work anymore because it's changed a lot. Don't get me wrong, it's always been a shit job. But it's been one that you can do and, you know, you can handle it for your extra dough, you know. Um, back when I started doing it, normally somebody had to know you a little bit or at least know of you that would give you a job. Um, you never had a badge like that. You went to your local council or your local authority. Um, you got your badge that way. Lasted a year, you paid your £100, whatever the fee was. So when these came in, the SIA, they said, oh, you know, the, the money will go through the roof. Um, and, you know, we're going to really regulate and help the industry a lot. Great. What they actually did was stop a lot of people from working. Um, now, I'm not just talking about people that I don't think should have been doing the job anyway. You know, mindless thugs. You're talking about good, good men it was, you know, a privilege to work with. See, now I'll only go and do a door when I am absolutely on my ass with money and I'm skint. That's the only time I'll go and do door work now. Or, you know, you might ring me if you know me and I know you and you might say, oh, I need a favour, I need another body. You know, yeah, no problem. If the money's right, I'll, I'll go and there's a good team of lads there, I'll go and work. For me to go and work on a door, I either want to be on my own which very rarely happens these days, which is probably a good thing, to be honest. <laughs> or I want to work with people that I know are okay. Now, I don't just mean lads that are fucking big lumps and, you know, and well hard. I, I don't mind knowing if you can have a row, I'll be honest with you. I like to know you can handle yourself. But to me, handling yourself ain't just about having a row. I like to work with a team of guys with good heads on the shoulders, with experience, with a bit of life experience as well. Just common sense, which doesn't appear to be all that common anymore, does it? Lads with common sense, they can navigate their way through. If you get four or five lads on a venue, good old school lads, old school lads on them, you can navigate 99.9% .9 of shit coming your way without aggro. You know, or very minimal, very little aggro, you can do it. You get to have a beer at the end of the night, a crack with your mates, you're off home. That's what you want. That's what I want. That's what most good doormen want. What we don't want, people going and getting a badge and acting like they're a fucking police officer. Rubbing people up the wrong way. Aggravating making friction where there need not be friction. I know rules are rules, but we can all give people a bit of a sweetener here and there, or a favour. Makes the world go round. Makes everybody's life easier. Also, what we don't want, you young big lads thinking you're going to come into an industry where you've got free reign to throw your weight around and just bully people. No. Don't want to work with you. Really don't. Do you know why? Because nine times out of ten, you're the people that cause the aggro, and then when it really goes off and gets a bit tasty, you know where to be found. We don't find you. You you, you know, you appear just as things are, are settled. Or I've even seen it, people's asses go, and they're off down the road. This ain't for me. It's a shame you didn't think about that before you started coming and calling people names, throwing your weight around, making aggro for the rest of us. Now, my ass goes every now and again, always has done. I don't want to be a cliche. When your ass goes, what you do then is what determines you from the next man. You know, you ain't, not everybody's going to be, you ain't got to be a war hero, do you know what I mean? But, 
you know what I'm saying. You either fuck up, you either run off, or you stay and you do the job. Um, yeah. And these take the, the way the job is now, right? If you was, if if you was to touch someone and re and do someone a bit of damage, and they went and complained to the police, and you should get charged with something, there goes that. That's gone for five years. Um. Now it took me a minute to get mine, so I don't want to lose it because, as you can probably see, my Monday to Friday I'm on a site. This is, you know, I do twelve hours a day. This is my bread and butter. This is how I put food on the table for the kids and uh, the occasional beer in the fridge. So I don't want to lose it. I need it for this, and I can have a little bit of an earner on the weekend if I need it. Now. If you come to work with me and start throwing your weight around being a dickhead and a bully, I'm not going to let nothing happen to you. As best as my ability will allow, we will all go home safely, just as the man next to me will do the same for me. Now, if you were to put me in a position where I lose this, you might have a good idea in coming after, because <laughs> what else am I going to lose? <laughs> so... Young men coming through, learn from the older lads that are still around. By all means, you got to have a, a pair of bollocks on you at times. But just as importantly, you got to have this. You've got to know how to use this. And you've got to know how to control this. And we'll all get along. Stay safe. Stay lucky. Another rant over.